Okay, hang on, let me get on my... It's actually terrible weather out today, so in a way it's kind of good because then I have to kind of take the day off. But I don't. I still just keep going. Inside. Yeah, let me tell you what, it's bad out there. If you said, should we go out? Not if you don't have to. Not based on what the traffic is looking like. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I've got my... I want to... Let me turn it up on my way to No, I want to have their outside sleeping now. I want them to stay out there. Oh, no, my flashlight's dead. Oh, no. All right, no worries. Luckily, it's a chosen one. You little peanuts. Okay, but I like to do the little banging of the pan just because it's very abrupt, it's very loud, and if you say, oh, you don't want it to be noise shy. No, you definitely don't want them to be noise shy. I mean, okay, someone has some other kind of. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Got this light on this mailbox. If you said based on your lighting, it's not helping. It is helping, I think. It looks brighter. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so I got my tray. I'm going to just get them in first. Get them in first, I'll work on the default down a little bit. So remember, first it's on the interior wall. You little peanuts! That kind of gets them slightly activated. Then it gets a little closer. If you said, is it, a, I make it, in, I mean, turn your sound down, I, I make it extremely loud right next to them. And if you said, well, it helps make them not noise shy, it makes them, have a different reaction to a loud noise. If you said, well, I drop something on every time there's a loud noise. You little peanuts. You said they're startled. They're not startled. <laughs> they like it. You little peanuts. Oh, I've got a little verbal. I mean, people are going to talk to him, but I'm not bending, reaching, grabbing, saying, here's your ear tussles. Here's your ear tussles. Oh, here's your treats for not jumping. Oh, because you're absolutely perfect. Oh, but the one that jumps. The only one that doesn't get any is the one that jumps. Mm -hmm. All the other ones get some. Oh, this one gets some. It is. It's their natural behavior to jump. Oh, look how perfect it works when it doesn't jump. You know, you've got to have the comparison. If you said how, how close, I'm not give a shake. If you said how close does, I mean, as close as possible. You know, if you said, well, so they can visualize this, this. <laughs> Here's the choices. You little peanut. Oh, there's a joke. Uh, yeah, joke. You'd be too big. You're too big. You'll be too big. If you said, do you want to say Sid? No, you're not looking for Sid. You're more looking for... Mining your eyes for clues. <laughs> Mining your eyes for clues. If you said, I'm not looking for that, I just want something I can put my hands on. Oh, I will fast forward three months. You're going to be saying, it's biting our hands. It's biting our hands. Why don't do that? Oh, people say, it's biting our face. I mean, especially if it's a little dog. I mean, how? where is your face if this dog is only this big? <laughs> you know, you the perfect little peanuts. You, if, you know, if you said, well, they have to be trained for a scene in a movie where some kid is reading a book to them and they're completely enamored. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you said you'd be able to do it based on this, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if you said, well, we would find out whatever chair this they're going to have this kid sitting in, mm -hmm. whatever the height, whatever... If you said that and get a practice kid, if you had to, if you had to get a practice kid, but you know, if you shaped the behavior with all the props and then just filled in the handler as 
somebody who sat there still or was reading a book. I was reading a book called My Name is Buttercrunch. I'm the world's smartest puppy. And I've had a book written all about me. It's called The World of Buttercrunch. <laughs> and how I moved in with this family and I became the center of their universe. So that doesn't work at all. I told you no. The jumping up doesn't work at all. The sitting and staring, on the other hand, oh, it's so redeeming. I'm just going to tell you, you don't want to say sit. Sit is what's called instant gratification training, where people have a cognitive dissonance, where they say, if I can make you sit in this moment, I can say to myself that you are trained. It's just crazy. I've never seen, everyone does it, every single person. If you say, is it trained, their exact response is, it already knows how to sit. If you said, who? Everybody. If you said, then well, then someone would say, oh, it already knows how to shake, high five, <laughs> lay down, heal, all these things. And so then they start saying it has problems. I say, oh, yeah. If it knows sit, I mean, when it takes off, just yell, sit. If it knows it, as you say, if you've focused all your energy training, sit. It's just ridiculous. People don't understand the, you know, that what you're doing is going to cause, there's going to be blowback, and later the dog's going to say, oh, no, not all sit again. And I don't feel like sitting right now. You say, what about me? I'd say that. I don't feel like sitting right now. You know, especially if you make it all long and drawn out. Let's sit down and have a talk. If someone's, I didn't want to talk to you, said, let's sit down and have a talk. If you said, what would you do? I would concoct excuses to the point of moving to Yemen to get out of it. Oh, I'm moving to Yemen. I'm sorry. What? I, I've got to pack. My, my schedule is going to be filled, and then I'll be in Yemen. I'll be living in a village, remote village, helping train dogs. I, I won't have any internet, but I, I wish you the best. <laughs> You said then what? Fake my own death, anything to get out of it. Anything. Anything to avoid having to do something that I know that I don't want it to. Oh, because I absolutely are. So if you said get them laying down, they probably will lay down. You can try the exhale. I want you to, that one's trying to read me like a book. Oh, that one kind of dipped the head. I want you to watch him. I, I believe he's going to lay down. I want you to look at him. But he's, he's trying to analyze what's going on. He's trying to see, well, what's that one doing? If you said, what are you at risk of? I'm suddenly copying that one. You know, that's why if you're there, Janice, you know, when the one dog ran, they all came. It was the Samson effect. You called Banjo, he took off like a bat out of hell, and the other ones saw him running and took off too. Mm -hmm. It's just how they are. The Samson effect. Mm -hmm. You know, if you said, well, that's a trait that they have, you could either augment it or decrease it. No, that's been my experience. Oh, they're absolutely, oh, look at all of them, absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. The most perfect, oh, we have to have homeschool today. The bus won't be able to come, the weather's too bad. <laughs> The weather's too bad. The bus won't be coming today. We'll be homeschooling. <laughs> anyway, this is the Bill Jack. I want all of you guys to go get these treats. You've got to go to Walmart. And trust me, I hate Walmart too. But it's the only place that has it. It's in the freezer section by the ice cream. Yeah, it's insane. But it's... it's when it's like this, it's very fresh. It's just these little meatballs that are just, oh, absolutely bite-sized morsels. If you said, is that what you need? Yes. I try to help people understand. The treat needs to be the fastest part of the exercise. If you said, why? In the event you had to skip it or you didn't have one, it's easy to say, oh, that already happened. Let's, we're moving on now. Moving on to the next one. You know, if you said, what's the key here? The key is saying, I see you without looking at you and that I have 360 degree situational awareness, just like you. 
I don't have to be looking at you. I'm not trying to put you in a microcosm and hug you and give you love. If you said they don't want that. Oh, he's already getting tired. I could try yawning. Let's see what that does. I'm really tired right now. Oh. <laughs> if one of them does it, they'll fall like John does. I can try crossing my foot. If you said, what's the risk? that they start biting your foot. If one of them does it, they'll all do it. Anyway, this trait thing is working out perfect, Janice, this candy thing. If you said, what about Shoe Bottom and Briggy, were they fine after they ate the candy? Oh, they were fine. All right, I'm gonna curl, look, he's already yawning. He said, was that, I was copying, but then I really did yawn. Oh, no, this one's laying down. All right, he's looking at that one laying down. I want you to watch him. He's thinking. Oh, yeah, there sure is right there, Mick. You precious faced angel. He's, he's going to do it. Look at his head. There's the tail. That's the risk of crossing your foot. So if you say, what do you need to do? You gotta put your foot back. Guys are notorious for just putting their feet, just, you know. You've gotta keep your feet together. You gotta try to be small. Okay, there's the tail. He almost did it, you see that? I moved too fast. He's gonna do it though. trying to think. I mean, that's the most interesting part of it. If you said you needed to act quickly right then, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I really didn't see it coming, but I said act quickly. If you said what? The, the part of my brain that was watching it said act quickly. Act quickly. <laughs> act quickly. Retreat. If you said then what? Retreat. Retreat. doesn't work at all. All right, so since it was sitting down, it did work. So if you said doing nothing, and you don't want, I promise that you don't want to say sit. It's, it, why, it, it's their idea. I'm not telling them to do anything. How can I tell them to do anything? They're six weeks old. Well, they're six and a half weeks old. You know, if you say, obey commands. Obey commands! <laughs> I said, what if you brought your kid over here for me to babysit a two-year-old? And I said, listen, uh, <laughs> your kid's not obeying commands here. <laughs> I would expect you to say, good gosh, what do you expect? Your job is watch this thing, hawk, hawk. So that doesn't work at all. I'm not having, literally having no reaction at all. It's not working at all. He's almost doing it. Everything about him, he wants to do it. I'm like, this one did it. Oops. <laughs> he kind of, but I reached over to give that other one. It made him fall down. <laughs> it made him fall down. He said, act quickly, act quickly, act quickly. If he said, why did you need to act quickly before he got back up? And there he is. He already got back up. You know, you're just, you're just thinking of it if it's going to take 10 clicks for it to get it. If you said how many, that was two. That was two clicks. So if you said you have eight more clicks, there might be 28 more. Yeah, that's how you, ah! Thinking of it though. <laughs> so it was like, Listen, you little feisty man. He could get all feisty. If I wanted to feisty him up, he'd do it in a minute.
Who's it pouring down right now? That's awful. If you say, what do you think? Well, at least the driveway's getting rinsed. <laughs> All right, he's thinking of laying down. His feet are slipping out from under him. He's just thinking that couldn't possibly be the right thing. Yeah. He's even bolstering himself so he can't be pushed over. If you say, why don't you want to lure him? <laughs> he got pushed over, so. Oh my gosh, he's fighting his little poopy. Oh, you are awful. I must get his leg. Oh, how absolutely awful. Oh my gosh. Anyway, they know how to get on the platform. Yeah, I think if you said, what is the platform? If jumping up is a natural behavior that they like to do, and that's been my experience. If you said, oh, look, anybody likes watching agility, the dogs running, jumping, doing all these things, I think it's great. Until it's jumping on them, they're not a, oh, you little peanut. You said, well, how can I save it? I mean, they're not all. Oh, hi, Randy. Oh, hi, Michael. Oh, hi, Henry. You can see, I'm, I'm saying to them, if you said you're not building engagement, <laughs> I beg to differ. I beg to differ. You know, the, the best way to kill engagement is touch them. They're going to go away. It's just going to be like if the brother and sister bite them. All right, let's work on the deliver to hand. So I got my little objects, all my little Christmas stuff. I got the keys. Oh, hey, Randy, have you ever heard of the Miami Dolphins? The Christmas watch. These little presents. Oh, oh my God, a piece of candy. Oh, my God, Janice, look. I thought all the candy was gone. Oh, my God. And the little keys. This little ring I don't need. So if you said, uh -oh. what's the, if a couple of them fall asleep, it's very hard to do if they're all there. But if you said, what don't you want? You don't want nine of them diving, grabbing nine objects, and you not being able to, you not being able to make it happen the way you want it to happen. Anyway, I love these teeny tiny stickers. Oh, I'm going to use these stickers. I'm going to put these stickers on this thing. Okay, so I've got... Oh, you little stinker. You're absolutely awful. Oh, but even their little poops are perfect. Even your little poops are perfect, just like you. Okay, sorry about that. We'll edit that part out later. Because in the real, they only poop gold. So if you said, what's my job? My job is to safeguard the objects so the things don't just say, oh, it's all about just, you know, because if you said, well, they just take stuff away. From, yes, they'll just take stuff away from you. That would be normal behavior. You know, when people say taking advantage, that sounds bad. If I said to you, oh, they're taking advantage of me, that would sound bad. To a dog, oh, there's an advantage that can be taken. Let's take it. That's their mindset. That's how they think. No, they're all ready to do it. You know, I always look away. Oh, I'm going to eat this candy. Um, and I do reward them without looking at them. If you said that causes them to look at it does not cause them to look at you. You know, if you said, if you were, go back to the very first video, I said, you have to teach them, you know, how to target your hand. They don't even know how to get the treat in their mouth. They, you know, they're sure they don't even know how to get the treat in their mouth. If you're just like a baby, when they first start eating from a spoon, they don't know how to do it. They never hold their mouth closed. I mean, they weren't doing that, but I mean, they didn't know how to get the treat. They didn't know how to eat food. By doing it without looking at them, you're just saying that I'm hyper aware. I'm hyper aware. 
I'm not like the other ones that don't notice what's going on around them. Okay, I'm gonna make sure they don't get this. They're getting too big now. They're getting too big now. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it way over here. Hang on. Way over there. Okay, so hopefully they don't run off with the presents. And if you, you can already know which one is the best with the white, you're gonna see it very, very easily. You little peanut. If they didn't know how it might, you know, the treat has to be the fastest part of it. If you said, no, do 30 to 90 seconds of emotional bond, give me an F and break. You know, if you said, tug, that takes too long. It takes too long. That's why, other than you can't use tug with weak handlers, it, it takes too long. It, the reward has to be the shortest part of it so that you can link stuff together and seemingly that part occur you can skip on and skip ahead skip ahead skip ahead I, I, randy knows what i'm talking about but you know the, it's not going to be we're going to work for an hour to get a 30 minute reward i mean that's just not how their minds work you know the, the behavior everything is happening very fast he's just waiting for something to go <laughs> you little peanut You see how having it in the tray helps, though. I mean, it, it's just the, the newspaper is too convoluted. <laughs> Uh-oh. You both did it, you little peanuts. <laughs> you said, is that good? No. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did you steal the present? You little peanut. <laughs> you both did it. You see what needs to happen. No, some of them need to fall asleep. You see, they're not jumping all over me. I'm not going to keep saying sit. If you say, well, I say sit 20 times a day, say, that's going to wear thin. It's going to wear thin. If somebody said to me, sit 20 times a day, their main focus was me sitting down. I so, say, listen, it's not working out. I like to walk around and do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm also very susceptible to Billy Joe Armstrong effects, so if you work me the right way, I'll you'll never get rid of me. <laughs> so I could probably do it just with this one over here. I can get him real forward. You think that's the cutest thing ever, Randy? All right, if you see what else we got. I do like these little watches because they've got a very distinct. If you said you want to get them sound specific, I mean, depending on what you wanted to do with them, I mean, that's why they have these bird calls and stuff. Like that one girl, Whitney, if you're their girl, you know, when they want to train for bird dogs, so I have just Bill. I mean, what you're supposed to do, but. I mean, that's why I do the quack, quack, quack. That's left over from my gun dog days. If you said, why, before we threw anything, we said quack, quack, quack. That caused them to look. And so if you said later when something was flying through the air and went quack, 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 they'd look. Yeah, it worked. It did. It was more like quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, yeah. I used to get compliments on YouTube for my duck calling. I did. Before you threw anything, quack, 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 quack. You know, if that's what you, if that precedes something, pretty soon there's a duck. If you said, well, they think next thing's gonna fall down, they're gonna run and get it. If you said, yeah, I did. What times did you? You little peanut. If you said, what's the problem here? I'm setting up a recipe for disaster. The tray is way over there. They're all over there. The whole thing is gonna move away from the handler. It's all gonna go away from the handler. And if you said, what am I thinking of myself? That it's nothing but a ball of motion. I better get as much of the motion coming back towards me as possible from the beginning. Because I've seen these things cover miles. 
Citizen's dog, that dog Crunchy, ran away. It was found like 12 miles away in another town, hanging out at a post office. So if you said it got 12 miles, yes, it's made it 12 miles somehow. Put it right in my hand. You know, they're capable of, you know, that's why the Germans have an AD. And if you said, what's an AD? It's an endurance test. If you said, well, the dog has to go 12 miles and do obedience at the end. So if you said, well, what if it can't make it? It's out. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> it's no boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, nothing. It's out. That thing is gone. There's my down. It's out of the picture. It's out of the breeding program. It's out of the gene pool. If it can't cut it, Cute. Yeah, it's pouring down rain now. Severe weather threat. Uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, boy. You both got it. If you said, what do I try? I, I try to wait until the other ones are distracted. Like, and then there's only one of them that's got an eye line on it. That's my technique for training a whole litter. <laughs> you said, it's not easy, it's not. And I'm deliberately staying very still. I'm not trying to scoot my feet around. I, you know, if anything, I should have my feet together. If anything, you should have crane feet. If you said, what's that? Well, they're only standing on one foot. Look, I've, I've only got one foot. <laughs> You're making yourself as small as possible. If you said, what about like right now when it's chewing on your finger? It's not having, it's not working at all. That isn't working. He said, what if you just even move my finger around? No, that would work. <laughs> They're doing unbelievable. You little peanuts. Yeah. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to go try to let some of these other dogs out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's just raining a little bit, so then I can start it really. Oh, hi, Wally. Anyway, it's, you know, there, if I came in here and said, oh, I love puppies. I want to play with them. I want to do... They would be so over me by now. At this point, they find me fascinating. Hi, Carlos. You know, I'm not trying... If you said, what, what am I keeping in the back of my head? Yeah, they're attracted to motion. I don't want to make myself a target. Oh, you little huggy bears. So I'm at my feet are very still. You little peanut. My hand is gone. I did it one-handed. Oh, you little mutter mutter. You see the paw? I think you just have to be careful. And if you said, well, what would be the wrong thing to do? Shake hands after every time you got it. Every time, congratulate it for giving it to you by shaking his paw. You say, your hand would be all scratched to hell. <laughs> if I can get in there and get out of there. <laughs> Good. You say, yeah, that one didn't do it. That one didn't do it. If you said, yeah, I don't, you know, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. I had to hurry. All right, hang on. Let me grab some retreats. If you said, we're just going to keep on training? Probably. <laughs> I mean, if you said they're getting tired. They're not getting tired. They're not getting tired. All right, I lost a watch. Uh-oh. What happened to it? Oh, no, it's in here. Okay, hang on. Hang on, let me get some more treats. They're not getting tired. That's the whole thing about it. They're maintaining engagement. And, you know, if you said that's the subtext of my training, yes. The subtext of the training is keep the dog more and more engaged until this thing is just hanging on your every word. Then problems, a lot of problems are going to be solved.
I can get their attention by... You little beanets! I didn't get that one out in time. I see that. You little peanut. Even your poops are perfect, though. It's unbelievable. Never had puppies with such perfect poop. All right, let me make them stay outside in a minute. You know, but how else am I going to get them in and out? <laughs> what am I going to make six trips to get them out in and out ten times a day? And if Dr. Castro's there, their pups are perfect. <laughs> if you said she cares, she does care. Okay. If you said, what are my plans for the day? Continue to keep my pajamas on, eat candy, and train dogs, and that's <sighs> Anyway, I just leave them out there a minute. No, they don't want to stay out there, though. No, I should put a little thing with the radar. Oh, I got them some new Christmas presents. I won't give them to him yet, though. I'll tell you, I'm running out of time. I thought it was like December 6th. <laughs> he said, you're way off, lady. I see that. All right, hang on. So I can get them back in the same way. First, the interior wall. Little oh. peanuts. Then it's louder. No, oh, they all come back in. You're manipulating them around. You're saying to them, so, you know, even at this age, athletically, they're. Just gonna start figuring out, you know, I don't have any kind of edge. Oh, you precious, precious angel. They're looking at my eyes. Like you said, you always think I'm staring. No, I don't, but I'm aware of them doing it. I'm aware of them doing it. If you said, and then you should reward it. If you really want it to get bigger and reward it again without. Let me see. Lupus, Lupus. Reward it without, all right, look, I see this one looking at me. If you can do it like that, it says to itself, it sees me without looking at me. And if you said, what does that help you understand? <laughs> it's not going to be one of these ones just as soon as we turn our back. It does stuff. Yeah, it's figured you out. You're all about only seeing what's right in front of you. <laughs> easily sneak away. When somebody says, oh, it sneaks away and hides and goes to the bathroom. Well, that's your terrible training is what that is. <sighs> you precious, precious pants. Oh, look, he's looking for something. You're unbelievable. Uh-oh, you go. 
about over here, you little peanut. Yeah. You little peanut. Just do what you do. Get over here, Jesse. Oh, you Oh, just some little piece of a stick that you found, Chester. You little peanut. If you said, is there any no or corrections? There's no no and there's no corrections. All right, let me come back.